Good day YouTube, here is an update on my 1962 Boyertown Merchandiser step van. Uh, last couple days I've been uh, working on installing an RV generator, getting it all bolted in. I've got a custom exhaust installed for it. I just welded the hangers to the frame and uh, just ran it for the first time. Uh, you might have saw my video, we rebuilt that plate the other day have all the floor uh, redone. I have some uh, quarter inch aluminum diamond plate to lay over this plywood, so that's coming. Uh, yesterday I started removing the uh, sheet metal panels from the inside. You can see, yeah, there we go. I have one section removed from the ceiling and uh, one, two, three to go. And then uh, we'll remove from that wall. There's my stack of sheet metal that I removed. That window uh, miraculously started uh, rolling up and down with the handle, which is cool. It was stuck like crazy before. Um, shot some PV blaster in it like months ago, and I didn't even have to open it up. It just works now. That's cool. Um, I gotta tackle the wiring because like nothing works. I got the headlights to work. Uh, nothing else works. I ran it out of propane. This is a Ford 306. Uh, that's been converted to propane. You can see it used to be a column shift. It used to be a 223. Now it's a Ford 300 on propane with a truck four speed. Uh, so anyway, I rebuilt the step too. Uh, didn't do a video on it, but the, it was all rotted out completely. I restructured it all in steel. Then I used a Trex deck material as my step. I'm going to be in and out of this thing, in and out, in and out. I thought that would make a nice... Uh, traction, the matter if it gets wet, you know, left a little bit of gap through there for the water to go. So anyway, let's run around here to the generator real quick. I got rid of the dualies. This is a ton and a half. Got wheels that I had on a three-quarter ton Ford pickup bolted right on. And I made these fender skirts to get rid of that huge gap that it has. So walking around to the inside. This is a, probably from like a 90s motorhome or something. It had like 300 hours on it. Uh, picked it up on Craigslist. Uh, 300 bucks, I think. I got the remote panel so I can start it. It's got an hour meter in it and stuff. I'll probably put the remote panel up front there so I can start and stop it from there. My n need for this would be to heat and cool this. I'm going to uh, put a ceiling RV heat pump in here so you can heat and cool this thing I mean there's no way to do it from the dash probably it would burden the engine tremendously to put a air conditioning system in here big enough uh, so anyway this exhausts all of its heat so it's got like a fan in there that exhausts all the heat down through that plenum and the exhaust is running there so I'll show you what I did for exhaust down into the truck so there's the exhaust there it is Running through that plenum muffler that I had and runs over there and exits out. Welded everything up tight. And this is uh, today's actually the first time I run the generator for any length of time because I didn't have an exhaust system for it. But uh, let's fire it up. It is a Honda, but it's not super quiet. I think it says hold it for 10 seconds. So anyway, it's nice and quiet at the exhaust side. What I need to do now is, because I'm gonna build a doghouse, an insulated doghouse for it inside, I need to cut a vent in the outside skin over here. Let's shut that off because it's very noisy right now. Oh, I mentioned this has been converted to propane, and the propane tank is on the left side. It's a big dog, too. It's probably at least 50 gallons. But the original gas tank is still mounted underneath the floor over here. 
it's probably 30 40 gallons or so and so I'm gonna clean out that gas tank and then pipe it over to the generator the generator has a fuel pump right there and uh, so right now I just plugged it into that gas can but and then I'll route the fuel line up here and it can draw from that 40 gallon tank I'd have to fill it up like you know once a year put some good non ethanol fuel in it and that generator would be good to go so what's next is I think I'll run down to Home Depot or something and see about finding a somewhere in here cut a 12 14 inch square vent like a gable vent or something that'll look fine and while I'm cutting I'll probably cut that piece of cancer out right there it's pretty nasty so I think that's what's on the agenda for today I'll go uh, find a vent that I can mark all that out I'll cut that hole slip that vent in get it riveted in and whatever and that'll be my task for this thing for today I, uh, we're having an event here at my shop at the barn uh, I'm outside right now under my little canopy we're having an event here in a, two weeks yeah two weeks from tomorrow it's this uh, Saturday what about the 29th or something of uh, January so uh, well, I've got to clean up the shop because we'll have 20 or 30 people here so it's just clean the shop half a day and work on step van half a day so I guess we're gonna call this uh, a video please like subscribe help me out there a little bit and uh, we'll get another video all right